what dawned on me is that young people in this country, I'm a millennial, you guys are young. We're hungry for a cause, right? We're so hungry for purpose and meaning and identity. And yet we're starving for that at a time in our history when the things that used to fill that void, and we can, there's a lot of things that could fill that blank. I talked about it today at this constitution camp here in New Hampshire, faith, patriotism, hard work, family. But I think there's, there's some truth to what Brian Armstrong told his employees, a corporation with a worthy mission can help fill that void too. And I think that's one of the roles that CEOs who feel like they're being bullied might miss is you, you don't have people who are bullying you. You have people who are lost, who are looking to you for direction and purpose. You're saying it quickly, but I think that family and religion are very, very big drivers of that. Oh, huge. Very yeah. Big. I'm just saying it quickly because I talk about that all the time. But um, but I think the family and faith is, I mean, these are foundational building blocks. They're of foundational. Our I think that when you look right? statistically at like the decay in the number of young people who are religious or the decay in the number of young people who actually have you know, two parent families. All of this speaks to the fact that the social norms that gave people purpose have actually gone, but they haven't been replaced with anything else. And I think that's the vacuum that you're seeing that many of these young people fall into. And so they're looking for something to your point. And um, the problem with that is not the causes themselves, but the fact that they are short lived. And then what's left over is the need for more and more and more. And that escalation, I think, is very dangerous if you think about where you know, society goes to from here. Yeah, I agree with you on that. And that's why I, I have been characterized, and Jason introduced me that way too, as anti-woke. I don't actually think of my, I don't, I don't like that label because it's, it's not inaccurate. I don't like it because it's false. I think it misses the point where I think the way we actually combat, fill in your favorite Blank, it, wokeism, climatism, covidism, fentanyl usage, anxiety, depression, loss of self-confidence. These things are symptoms of a deeper void of purpose and meaning. And